I'm just glad that uh, I was saying before, like, the best part about this is they essentially knocked them out of the playoffs and we won't have to play that team again. Again, So pretty much our Achilles heel the last two years. That uh, was at least on fear. defense. <laughs> uh, that was my fear when it looked like they were going to lose the game. I said, I hope, I hope we don't play this team again in the playoffs because, uh, you know, if all that. I don't know. There, although I don't know what they changed because uh, the playoff game, they, the offense lit them up pretty good. So. Um, um, I don't know. I don't think it had much to do with Bell, but maybe, it, maybe that game plan did. But well, they lost all their wide receivers, basically. I think. Yeah. Well, I, I, yeah, but I just, I, I, so I mostly meant our offense beat the hell out of their defense because we scored almost as many points. Something's something's off on that team. They're just you know, like like last year they had like well they were called Saxonville and they had, they don't have the, that many sacks this year. Uh, what I think yeah they, they did a pretty good job but at least the second half they seemed to get a little more pressure but I think they still only had one sack two, Ben only got two sacks all game oh it was two okay um and uh, uh, meanwhile Blake for Blake Bortles got sacked six times uh they're not getting sacked as much the, their their takeaways aren't as great you know their their takeaway ratio yeah um I I don't know I don't know what there's just something a little bit off and then remember they traded Fowler at the trade deadline for some oh, reason. Yeah. You know, that kind of signals to me, yeah, like, sure hey, we was, give up. Yeah, I'm not sure if there was an internal problem with them or something and why they did I, that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, the kind of <laughs> – when you trade when you trade one of your your better, starters yeah. – uh, Doesn't send a strong message. To... <laughs> yeah, it kind of kind of says you're, you're, you're giving up or something. So, oh, so, Craziness. yeah. Next um, week in Denver. Yes, that'll be – be a good game, I think. I think the offense will be ready to make up for what they didn't do this this week. The best part of this game, or the best part of this podcast, was we didn't mention a certain guy once. Uh, although this this certain player, let's say, uh, I don't know if you saw that. God, I don't know who uh, sent the tweet out, but it was about that he's going to face more eight man fronts because. Or Connor's going to face more eight-man fronts now because a certain player uh, isn't like part like in, on the team anymore, or basically. And I'm like, he was never. Bell was never part. First of, of all, he was he wasn't on the team yeah, all year. Never, so what are you ta- what are they talking about? Plan. Secondly, I think they said the Steelers faced probably the second or third most eight-man fronts in like that league so far. So I don't know who sent that garbage tweet out, but it's 100 percent like factually incorrect. Stupidity. <sighs> All right, so, um, okay, so yeah, let's. Uh, I guess we'll talk Wednesday. Uh, this is a uh, week definitely of Thanksgiving. Thursday. Definitely not Thursday. Maybe. Yeah, Wednesday. yeah. But it'll be um probably, probably a very work. interesting week. Um, but yeah, we'll 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 figure it out. So we convene. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sir. I'll uh, I'll catch you later. Yeah, I'll uh, talk to you Wednesday, it looks like. Yep. All right, good stuff. All right, right. see you. Thanks for listening. We'll be back Wednesday for another episode. Thanks again to Brian Harker of PittsburghSportsZone.com and Mark Hagelauer. And I'll talk to you later. Another episode is in the bag. Really?